details. Well, if you're still looking for a summer camp for your keiki, we've got you covered. How about archery camp? Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Kaneohe with more. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina Ross. Still hanging out here in Kaneohe with the Archery for All Club. And joining us here on Take Two, we still got Coach Phil. Hey, Coach hey, Phil, how you doing? Doing great. So in between commercial breaks, you were teaching me how to get this done, how to do it right. Yep. And you know, what's one thing that you want all beginners or people who are just new to this to know? Because for me, it all came down to technique. Yeah, well, I want them to know that uh, you're not going to be perfect every time. Yeah. But uh, with persistence, you'll get better every time. And there that's what's important. Absolutely. Practice makes perfect. And let me tell you guys, these ladies have been doing work. Bullseyes for just like the last hour right here. But let's go ahead and see if I can make one. Now, Bailey, you've been doing pretty good at these targets right here. What's some last minute pointers you could probably share with me? I would say remember to pull your hand behind your ear like you're wiping it and uh -huh. make sure you keep your eye on the target and, and have good focus. Have good focus. Okay, now should I keep both of my eyes open or just one eye open? I prefer both, but if you have a really good good one eye, then I would do that, but I do both. You do both. Okay, I think I might keep both my eyes open for this one. But uh, do you like archery? Is this the first time you did this? Yeah, it's the first time. Since I came to Kailani School, mm -hmm. I've been doing it, and I've been having really m so much fun. And is there... Anything that you're thinking when you're hitting the bullseye targets, you know, what's the focus? What's going on in your mind? I'm thinking that if I try harder, I can and, and be focused where I can do it better and improve myself with it. There you go, Bailey. Thanks so much for the advice. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to ask for your help, Coach Phil, if you could just hold this mic right here for me. Okay. All righty. So okay, arrow's going to go on the other side. Yeah. Arrow's going to go on this side right here. Yep, that's right. And what do you want to do with this position right here? You want to make sure this part of the arrow slides correctly yeah, on this part. And you want the odd feather always away from the bow. Odd feather. Okay. Oops. So we have the odd feather out. All right. Just click this. There on we there. go. There you go. And then you only want to use three fingers That's and right. keep your thumb and your pinky together. Some archers will do three under. We have the three split method. Okay. Three split method. Stand up tall, straight okay. posture. Very good. Nice posture. Yep. Both eyes open, like Bailey mentioned. Yep, back elbow up high, front shoulder relaxed by breaking okay. the elbow. All right. Ooh, not bad, so not bad, close. not bad. Oh, okay, that was my closest one. Let me go ahead and do it again. You know what? Is it really easy for people to just kind of pick up on this? What do you say? Yeah, it it is easy. Um, it, like I said before, it's all kind of mental. So if you feel apprehensive about it, then you may be a little bit nervous and you may not be able to do it. But like I said, a few shots, and I believe this is a primal, Whoa, a so primal close. thing. Yeah, great shot. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, so once you do archery, it kind of feels instinctive. And you know what? This is really safe too. It's good for age, all ages, when appropriate. But uh, you actually have the real thing, and I can only imagine how that is like. Is it different intensity? It's similar, but when the arrow sticks in the target, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Especially if you can hit the bullseye. Yes, I got it. Got it. Oh, awesome. Job, well. Yes, nice job, Bailey. Thanks Great for the tips right there. Third time's a the charm right there. And you know what? If you want to learn more about our tree for all, we'll be posting this segment again on our website at khon2.com. But we're going to be sticking around here, having a little bit more fun with these ladies. But sending things back from Kaneohe to you, Christine and Ross, with more. I think Dallas was practicing in the commercial <laughs> break. Was that really just his third time? You know who I want to see do it? You. No, not me. Yeah. Not me. You'd be awesome. You know where the arrow would be? Going straight down. That's why you stand nowhere near the bullseye area. But those kids make it look really easy. Yeah. All right. Well, coming up next, we'll have your healthy moment of the day. And how you can enjoy a free event that features live music, a family-friendly movie, and a pop-up marketplace. Yeah, get your popcorn ready because a preview of the Sunset Melee and Night Market in studio when Take Two returns.